It's nearly unbelievable to think that there's anybody in the world that wants Lionel Messi dead, especially in Argentina. But sadly, it seems like some people might, because the message the Argentina captain was left in his home country was very scary. Lionel Messi, who was having a pretty good start to the year, having just been named the best FIFA men's player of 2022 for a record extending seventh time, might actually be in danger. The Argentina captain is obviously still floating on the high of winning the World Cup for Argentina for the first time in 36 years, and he showed that by gifting all his teammates and members of staff of the triumphant squad customised gold-plated iPhones. After making them world champions again, one would think that Argentines would only venerate and idolise Messi more than they had originally done so, but it appears that not everyone in the country has love for the national team captain. On the 2nd of March, it was reported that there were gunshots fired into a supermarket in Rosario, Argentina, and it appears that the store is owned by the family of Messi's wife, Antonella Rocuzzo. According to the police, two men on a bike reportedly fired a dozen shots into the store early on Thursday morning and then left a very chilling message on a piece of cardboard. The message read, Messi, we're waiting for you. Mayor Pablo Havkin is a drug trafficker, so he won't take care of you. Well, that sounds very scary. Local media suspect that the gunman could just be trying to extort money from the seven-time Ballon d'Or winner, but it still doesn't make any of this any less scary. Thankfully though, no one was hit by any of the bullets that were fired into the store. All of Messi's in-laws have been reported to be safe and unharmed. But the story could have been very different because that supermarket is a popular spot in the area. It's one of the chain stores that the Rocuzzo family has been operating in Rosario since the 80s, and with Messi being a national hero, the store has since grown in popularity. But from the message, we can tell that this has nothing to do with the Rocuzzos and everything to do with Messi. And this takes our minds back to some other times Messi's life has been in danger. In 2021, just after he moved to PSG, the hotel where Messi was staying with his family was burgled and cash as well as thousands of dollars worth of jewellery were carted away from four different rooms. Thankfully, neither Messi nor any of his family members were hurt. Then in 2022, after the Spanish holiday home of Messi's teammate Marco Verratti was robbed and £2.5 million in cash and jewellery were stolen, it was reported that Lionel Messi's home, as well as that of tennis star Rafael Nadal, was next on the hit list. Following the raid on Verratti's home, arrests were made and the authorities recovered a handwritten note from the suspects on which the names of Messi and Nadal were written. Thankfully, those attacks were stopped before they even happened. Again, it's absolutely crazy to us that anybody in the world would want to harm the goat. Messi really doesn't bother anybody, he just wants to play his football and be the best husband and father to his wife and kids. But somehow it's even crazier this threat to his life is coming from Argentina, the one place where Messi is supposed to be a god and regarded as untouchable. Anyway, we hope and pray that the authorities get all of this under control and that Messi and his entire extended family are safe. We know how much Messi loves to go back to his hometown every now and then to relax and have some fun. Hopefully, he continues to be able to do that with no fear of being attacked or even gunned down. We'll keep monitoring this story and if there are any developments, we'll be sure to bring it to you here. Having said that, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you have the bell notifications turned on so you don't miss it. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.